This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Guard Security Round Body Padlock. It's the Model 365 LS. Now, I'll admit that I was fooled when I purchased this. The shape of the lock is very similar to those produced by a Taiwanese factory that puts out some pretty high quality products. I thought for the price, it may just be a security bargain, but I was very wrong. This was made in the PRC, not the ROC, and the quality was not anywhere near what I was hoping for. What we have is a pretty standard looking round body padlock. It says hardened on the back, but I checked and that is not the case. Then we have an 11 millimeter shackle that is hardened and it's held in place with a ball bearing locking mechanism. From what I can see on the outside, the core is five pins and of fairly low quality. But let's try to pick it open and see what it takes to get inside. Looking at that keyway, it looks like an American lock keyway, a little bit on the sloppy side. I'll probably be able to fit a 25,000 standard hook in there. Yep, more than enough room for that. And wow, look at all the slop in that core, a lot of movement. Okay, let's get to picking. Click out of one. Click out of two. Number three, click there. Number four, binding. Still binding, got a couple clicks out of four. Click out of five, he feels set. Back to the beginning. One seems to have dropped down. Couple clicks on there. I think these may be those cast spools. They're a little bit indistinct. They look really poorly made. You find them in Chinese padlocks pretty often. There we go, number four. We got it open. I'm anxious to see what's inside because those indistinct looking spools, they're actually really poorly made. They actually tend to be a little bit harder to pick because they're so poorly made and irregular. Okay, we have a Phillips screw down the shackle hole. I'm taking that out right now. And let's drop that core out. Okay, there is no clip on the back. Wow, that's really sloppy, the tolerance is there. There's no core on the back, which means it's probably held in place with the pin in the sixth position. And sometimes we can reach right through the core and push that up. Let me see if that's the case here. No, there is no way to get this core out non-destructively. Okay, I guess we're not taking a look at those driver pins. Well, superficially, I think this looks like a competent lock, but given the fairly low build quality and the cheap core, there are many better options if you're looking for a round body padlock. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.